Okay guys, I'm pulling up into uh, Julie's cabin. There's her geodesic dome. And it snowed a little bit this morning. It's pretty dang cold. I think it's only about 19 degrees. But what's crazy is it looks like it's pretty warm inside that. Okay guys, so essentially what I'm doing here is we ran into some issues with uh, Julie's stovepipe in the cold weather not wanting to flu right. And I'm going to insulate it. And the cool thing about it is, is I'm going to insulate it with aircrete. I'm also going to take and measure the window where it goes in and create a thick sheet metal um, window covering with the exact right size of hole that goes in it. And that is also going to be insulated with aircrete. Uh, it's going to have a uh, aircrete um, mixture with perlite in it. And I don't know if you've watched in some of my prior videos, but I took a just like a half inch or three eighths inch thick piece of that and put it on my hand and put a torch on it. The insulative values of it is absolutely intense. The wind's blowing right now. It's about 19 degrees, but I'm going to pull down this uh, stove pipe behind me and then I'm going to take it back to my shop and we are going to um, take a seven inch uh, piece of stove pipe and put around the five inch and completely insulate it with air creep. Now the way I'm doing it is and the reason I'm kind of making this video is because there's a lot of people that would like to have these wood burning apparatuses whatever uh, type it may be and be able to put a pipe out of a basement window well or what have you man the winds blowing so hard my eyes are watering but uh and be able to run that up without having to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to put a brick uh, system up the side of their home and uh, from what I see online all the insulated stovepipe that you can get is super expensive three or four foot pieces run from 69 to 89 bucks each and so um, I'm gonna create a way that just for a few bucks you can create um, a piece of insulated stovepipe that'll just slide together in and segue one into the other and we're gonna start by doing it here on Julie's cap Okay guys, I'm getting ready to go into her cabin. Um, wow. She put this little greenhouse situation all around her porch. And what's crazy is it's relatively comfortable in here. It's 19 degrees outside. That's amazing. There we go. Oh. And here's the homestead. Do you miss it, Julie? <laughs> There's the good old Yukon stove. So what I need to do is I need to make sure I get some really good measurements from here to there. And I think just for the purposes of making sure it's good and sealed up, I'm going to go ahead and pull the stove pipe completely out and unscrew the existing piece of sheet metal in there and see if I can just put the window down. I know I've been saying that I'm going to take good measurements on that so I can build one, but I just had a really serious thought. If Mrs. Honeydew were here, she would just say, 
if you're taking that piece of sheet metal out of the window, why don't you just take it with you and use that as a template? You don't even need to measure it. And she's right. But she's not here. But she's still in my head. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and pull the stove pipe, pull the window, uh, the sheet metal out of the window and shut the window. So here we go. And voila, it's done. Also, I think I'm just going to go ahead and tack up a uh, window covering over that. Just so, for security purposes, you know, if people did come around, be able to look in. Yeah, I think that'll do just fine. Okay guys, I just got through taking down the stove pipe out at Julie's cabin, out at uh, her homestead from Dirt Patch Heaven. Um, go ahead and check out uh, Julie's site. She does some really incredible, cool videos. She's just an absolute incredible person. But uh, I have this really cool design that I am worked out and have all the drawings done for. Uh, to make double walled aircrete insulated stove pipe and I have all of it back in my shop we're getting ready to pour it and that video is going to be out in a couple days so if you like what we're doing give us a thumbs up check out some other videos of ours up in the right hand corner and like and subscribe as well and you can also find us on Etsy at Honeydew Carpenter Shop on Etsy